Hello, Tiffany here with Cards Crafty Creations. Today I'm going to show how to make these really quick and simple Valentine's Day treat bags out of vellum. Um, I actually had some vellum in my stash um, with white polka dots and red polka dots. And then I actually made this one by just stamping um, some Valentine's Day stamps on top of just plain vellum. Then I took some foil lettering and cut out the word hugs and stamped some envelopes and used those as my embellishments. Um, it's actually quite big and actually took a lot more candy than I thought it would to fill these up. I thought they were small, but it really turned out to not be very small once you put all the candy in there. But I'm going to show you how to make these today. So what I'm going to start with is a six and a half by ten inch piece of vellum. And I'm going to be using my We Are Memory Keepers gift bag punch board. And I've shown videos on how to use this punch board before. <clears throat> but if you have a pattern paper, <clears throat> you want to make sure that the pattern is upside down when you put this in. Because when you're punching it, you're actually punching the bottom of the bag. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to punch and score along all the lines. We're making a small bag today, so I'm going to score along the small line. And it does miss the first one because it's in the punch. So I just pull it out and, and do that. Then you take, you move your score line to this start and punch again. And now we're scoring the side of the bag. So I score along all the side indicators. Move this line to the side, the start line, I guess. And then we're going to score the small again. This is the other part of our, our face or back to the bag. Move that score line to the start line, punch, and then we're going to score the side one more time. Move this over and punch one last time. <clears throat> okay. Then I'm going to cut this off, that way it doesn't stick out. And now we have the board template. What I did was I took a Martha Stewart Valentine or heart punch. I call it Valentine. Now we're going to punch the top of the bag. So I usually flip it over, line it up in there, and then punch, get my first punch out. then these punches are really easy because you just line it up and punch the next set. So I'm going to line it up and punch. You could save those and put them in a shake card, but for now, so this is our, our bag now. I'm actually going to, this is the side flap that adheres the bag together, so I'm actually going to cut it off like that. Okay. Now what we can do is we can embellish our bag right now. So what I'll do is I took some washi tape and if you remember I made like a little washi tape frame I don't have this washi tape anymore because my dog actually got it and chewed it up so I'm going to use a different one and then I'm going to take my Hugs. This one's out of glitter paper. I'm going to take my hugs cut out, die cut, and I'm going to adhere that to the front. Okay. 
meanwhile, while that's drying, I actually stamped a few envelopes and the word sending. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just cut them out. I'm actually going to place two down and I'm just going to use some score tape. I'm going to adhere to a red and a pink one to the base of the bag. Okay, and then I'll set those aside for right now. Now we can go ahead and adhere, put our bag together. So we're just going to reinforce the fold lines. So I'm just going to use some score tape and put it on this flap right here. This is going to adhere the bag together. And then I'm going to put it on three of the flaps. going to take some <clears throat> foam squares and adhere our envelope, the rest of our embellishments. Valentine's Day treat bag made it out of vellum using the Wear Memory Keepers gift bag punch board. I actually made four bags <clears throat> and like I said they are they are actually a lot bigger than I thought when you put the candy in them and how much candy you actually need. I think I filled these up and they're about this full and I went through about one bag of Hershey Kisses just to fill these three up, so it gives you an idea of how big the bag is. I think it measures, it should measure five and a half by two and a half, so that's a pretty big bag when you have to fill it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks.